Alrighty, good morning everybody, and hello and welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? <clears throat> I hope I find you all well. Today is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Today should be a great streaming day. I'm excited today for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, today we're breaking stuff up. Instead of doing our Resident Evil 3 playthrough, you know, all weekend long, today we're returning back to Neo 2 for a session, which is good. If you actually remember, uh, when we played this last, I, I had a lot of progress. Not only did we beat a major story mission that a lot of people said that the boss of that mission, the Owl boss, was one of the most challenging of the game. But in addition, I finally leveled up my magic, on Onmyo magic, high enough that now I can do the final Onmyo magic training mission, which is great. Because that means then I can unlock the highest level Onmyo magic things in the skill tree, which I've been waiting to do for quite some time. So I'm excited for that because I want to see what else is available for Onio Magic. Um, <clears throat> so that should be good. And then we've got a bunch of side missions that have opened up. I'm hoping to raise my stamina even further so that I can uh, carry heavier armor and ch try out other armor sets besides the one that I'm just wearing right now. So good stuff today. I'm excited for more Neo 2. You know, we're going to have some pretty good progress today in that regard. Later tonight... It is Minecraft. That is correct. My Minecraft stream for the week is actually on Sunday night for good reason, and I'll explain why in just a moment. <clears throat> so later tonight, the Minecraft stream's focus is primarily going to be resource gathering. According to Papa Vera, we're at a kind of a important part of the game where I'm definitely going to be working on uh, other projects coming up soon, but I need to gather a ton of resources. So tonight, we're basically going back to that desert we were in last week. And I'm going to be trying to do some cave systems in order to get valuable resources, minerals, etc. Uh, out of that desert. <clears throat> so that should be good. Um, and it should be chill. It's going to have a lot of opportunity for us to interact. Since it's going to be a lot of mining and a lot of stuff like that. It's going to be, you know, us chatting during that. So I hope you're, you'll come by tonight just for, you know, kind of hanging out. Rather than worrying too much about major progress. We're not going to be building or anything like that, okay? <clears throat> tomorrow, guys, it's my birthday. So tomorrow, we have special birthday festivities going on. All right, first of all, the main gameplay stream tomorrow, Monday, April 6th, will be the conclusion of Resident Evil 3 Remake. <clears throat> For one of to understand, I'm nearing the end of the game. And since I'm playing this as my main gameplay stream, I should wrap up the game. Okay? Um, if we finish early... Then what I'm going to do is switch over, and we're going to try out Resident Evil Resistance, which I know literally absolutely nothing about. It's supposed to be this multiplayer mode they added in with the game because the game is so short. So far, my playthrough of the game is roughly seven hours, so I guess we'll see how much longer we have left in the game, because I don't remember um, <clears throat> from playing the original how much longer we have once you're at the hospital. I have no recollection. So, we shall see tomorrow. And then, tomorrow night's late stream is basically my big birthday celebration where, number one, we're playing Animal Crossing, and in Animal Crossing, on your actual birthday, apparently there are all kinds of fun festivities that happen. I don't know what, because obviously this is the first time I'm ever playing Animal Crossing. <clears throat> so we're going to see uh, together. We're going to try to figure this out. We're going to see what is it, what kind of special stuff is going on. Um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, and go from there. That's number one. Number two... Um, there, uh, my wife is going to be making me a birthday cake, and I'm going to have a piece of that cake on the stream to celebrate my birthday. So, last year, I did not get to celebrate my birthday at all, because I was mid-traveling to Connecticut to visit my parents and get married. So, I basically had no acknowledgement of my birthday at all. I was, you know, en route to Connecticut. So, this year, I actually get to be here on my birthday, which is very nice. I actually get to celebrate it, which is cool. <clears throat> So I certainly hope that you guys will be here tomorrow, if you can, to help celebrate my birthday. If not, you know, it's cool you're here today. You know, I understand not everyone can be here every day. Um, but at least, you know, if you can be here today and hang out with me, the stream should still be great. Uh, but if you can be here tomorrow for the birthday stuff, absolutely please be here. That's going to be super fun, I feel. Okay? Now, I'm off on Tuesday. That's my day to run errands, grocery shop, and spend time with my family. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday with more Neo 2. And Call of Duty Warzone. Thursday will be up in the air, and here's why. Um, 
depending on how long it takes to beat Resident Evil 3 tomorrow, maybe we'll have beaten it and had a chance to play Resident Evil Resistance. And if that's the case, and we're all done with Resident Evil completely, then on Thursday, we'll just do another day of Neo 2, okay? <clears throat> all right? Now, also, um, on Thursday night, it will be more Animal Crossing, which will be pretty fun. Um, we're still doing the Bunny Day thing, and that's not going on until the 12th. So at this point, I wonder what my wife's done in regards to Bunny Day and everything. I have no idea. We're going to find out when I, we play again. But that will be Thursday night, and then this Friday, the big new release, the one everyone is waiting for. <clears throat> Final Fantasy VII Remake, everybody. Yeah, so that's going to be this Friday, Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're very excited for that, and that will be the main gameplay stream, Balanced with Neo 2 for a bit. Keep in mind, coming up later this month, we have many other game playthroughs, including possibly Modern Warfare Remastered 2. That's the campaign. Uh, viewer's Choice, which you guys are voting on right now. We're going to have some Viewer's Choice games in the mix. I may play the Control DLC, which I have because I bought the Season Pass of Control, and I want to check that out. And I may try Trials of Mana, among other things. So we're going to see how things go for the rest of this month. All right, but it should be exciting. I certainly hope that you guys will, uh, you know, hang out with me for all of it. Uh, you guys have been amazing uh, and positive these past couple of weeks. It's been a really great streaming experience with all of you guys ever since basically the new releases started hitting. It's been super fun. So I hope that you guys will uh, continue to enjoy everything and hang out with me and have a good time here. Positive time on stream, right? Good stuff. All right. I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood today. I had a coffee this morning. <clears throat> I actually usually don't drink coffee, but the past few days I have because I felt I was going to be playing kind of ultra gruelingly hard games with Resident Evil 3 and now with Neo 2. Although it's funny, you know, I really don't feel Resident Evil 3 is that tough. I think the only reason that's difficult is because the boss fight that I did yesterday was completely just not easy to figure out for yourself. You needed to know there was a pattern you needed to use to beat the boss or you can't beat him because he basically he's a damage sponge that doesn't die. Um, but outside of that... <clears throat> Resident Evil 3 hasn't been that difficult. I thought it would be way harder on Hardcore, and it's not. You know, Resident Evil 2 Remake was way tougher. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll see how Neo 2 goes today. Um, being that I'm going to get the magic upgrade and everything, maybe my magic will be improved. Maybe I'll be able to get even better magic. Uh, I don't know. And, you know, we've got a few side missions coming up, and typically the side missions tend to be frustrating and sometimes. Other times they're not. Sometimes you just could coast right through it, but some of the side missions have been some of the hardest things in the game. Remember some of the, the yokai gauntlets and things I've had to fight during these side missions? So I guess we'll see. We shall see how it goes um, today, but I had a coffee, like I said, uh, and I'm like energized now. I'm like excited. I'm excited because, number one, two more days of streaming. It's all stuff that's going to be fun um, and entertaining. And I'm excited for my birthday tomorrow. I'm excited because you guys have been so positive around the streams lately and just been, everything's been good, you know? So I'm excited for, for everything coming up. <clears throat> I am. I'm excited for everything. I hope you guys are excited too, okay? So please remember to keep voting on the Viewer's Choice event. The voting is still open for about one more week before we close off that poll and then we determine what games will actually be played in the Viewer's Choice event. So please keep voting on the kingofhate.com forums. You can either type exclamation point viewer's choice into the stream right now if you'd like to see the link pop up, or you can wait, and every 20 minutes or so the link will appear. Um, please, uh, yeah, please do that. Yes, Cookie Monster. He says, remember to use the Mortal Soul Core. <laughs> Thank you for that. I think it's a low level at this point, though. I'll have to look at it. I don't know what level the Mortal Soul Core is, but I will give it a look today. Thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> okay, um... All right, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to talk about before we get to the gratuitous plugs. I guess the only other thing I would like to say is, guys, thank you so much for the support recently with this vest streak. It's insane. 14 straight streams of hitting the tips goal and me wearing the vest have been pretty out of control. I never expected that. It's been super positive and helpful, so thank you for that. Maybe we can keep that up today, maybe not. Obviously, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to complain if we don't, but you guys have been so amazing with this. Oh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really important, guys. I needed to mention this up front because in regards to the tips goal, this might be important, okay? <clears throat> Today, I'm making dinner. I have to end this stream a half an hour early, okay? I have to stop streaming at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time instead of 4 o'clock 
The reason I mentioned that is because last time I played Neo 2, we did hit the tips goal, but it was like 15 minutes before the end of the stream. And then I put the vest on, immediately beat the boss, and that was the end of the stream. We don't have all that time today. It has to, The stream is ending at 3.30. Okay, just so you know. <clears throat> so because of that, um, you know, if we're going to try to hit the tips goal, we got to do it before 3.30, all right? I'm not saying we have to at all. I'm not trying to pressure anyone. I'm just saying so that there's no misconception. And then, oh, man, we didn't hit it because Phil ended early and we didn't know. You know, I'm glad I remembered this, all right? So FYI, um, I would love to wear the vest today. But we, again, we got to hit the goal. We'll see how it goes tonight. Okay, well, today. It's actually the morning here with me. <clears throat> okay. Um. All right, let's just move on, guys. Let's move on to the gratuitous plugs. Thank you very much for 11 plus years of awesome fun playing video games and sharing those experiences with all of you daily. I absolutely appreciate it. I do. And... <clears throat> I definitely um, love my daily streams that we do, the social interactions we have, the fun that we have. You know, I'm a lifelong gamer. It's awesome that I am one of the rare people on this planet that gets to do what he loves for a living, and I'm super grateful for that. I hope you guys know that, okay? Now, in addition, I'm also one of the few people that has continued to be able to do, you know, his job and hasn't had any interruptions with that. I've been able to put out fun and entertaining streams for you guys on a daily basis that I certainly hope have helped to distract you from everything going on in the real world and make you feel, you know, a little bit happier. So, you know, I'm super grateful that not only do I get to love what I do, but I still get to keep doing it even during this very troubling time for the entire planet. So thank you guys for that, for spreading the positivity. Thank you for being here and hanging out with me. Thank you for the support recently. Thank you for everything. All right. <clears throat> now, in the modern era, I am a content creator who is a live streamer. I used to be a full-time YouTuber, but that has uh, long gone, been long gone. It's been over three years now I've been a full-time streamer. And that means that I really rely on your crowdfunding efforts in order to make ends meet and keep stuff going. It's your crowdfunding during the streams that allows me to keep being a full-time streamer and do what I love, all right? So that being said, guys, please consider contributing during the stream since that's how I pay for everything, right? Um, but that being said, I want to say something up front. Please understand that my streams on Twitch.tv are completely and utterly free, 100% and always will be. Contributions are not mandatory on my streams. No contributions are expected on my streams at all. <clears throat> if you just want to come by and hang out with me and have a good time and enjoy games, that's what it's all about. That's why I stream, all right? Keep in mind, I made YouTube videos for two and a half years before I ever monetized a single piece of gameplay, and I only did after I lost my office job, which was my employment at the time. Um... You know, I would continue to stream in the future if somehow I lost my ability to do this for a living. I would still stream in some limited capacity, probably way less than what I do now, because uh, I love it. I do this because I love it. All right, guys? So please understand that, and please know that the reason that I'm here is to hang out with you and have a good time with games, period. You know, my philosophy is thus. If you guys like what I'm doing and I'm putting out entertaining stuff for all of you and we're all having a good time, then contributions will come naturally. I don't have to sit here and every, you know, couple minutes say, oh, sub to the channel, oh, tip me, oh, do this, do that. After I do this this intro segment of pre-stream, I pretty much just do thank you shout-outs when people do contribute, and that's it. Um, because I'm all about the gameplay, I'm about having a good time with you guys. It's not about constant harping on making money and stuff like that. It comes naturally with the positivity of a great stream. And that's what I like about this, is I'm not one of these people that, oh, I'm advertising products constantly, I've got sponsorships and stuff. No, we could just have fun with games and just have it be natural. And I love that, guys. I do. <clears throat> so, thank you guys for all of your support, all right? And if you cannot contribute today, please do not feel pressured or feel like you're the odd man out because you can't. Again, that is not what this is all about and never has been. Fair enough? <clears throat> okay, so guys... But that being said, if you can contribute today, absolutely, by all means, please do. It does keep everything going. Here's how you can contribute. First of all, I have a Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And this is, uh, this is um, a multi-pledge campaign. When you pledge to my Patreon, you earn personal perks for pledging. 
And I'm not going to go into detail about it because it's all publicly listed over there. You can check it out at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Please give it a look. I also have a Teespring store where you can buy all kinds of fun merchandise. Typically, it's t-shirts, but there's other stuff there like sweaters and mugs and stickers and the like. <laughs> it's definitely good quality stuff, I can attest, because guess what? I own a bunch of it and wear it. In fact, today, I am wearing one of the most popular products on my Teespring store. This is the Skull shirt. See that? Skull design. You can have this on a shirt. You can have this on a mug. I love this shirt. I've had this shirt since the launch of my Teespring shop three years ago. And here it is. It's like new. It hasn't worn out. You know, the shirts on Teespring are really good quality. So please give it a look. That's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP gaming. <clears throat> Thank you guys for even giving it a look. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, if you're here live on the stream, chances are you'll probably want to contribute in a way that number one is going to give you some recognition for your contribution live. And number two, you may get a shout out from me. All right. So if you either cheer with bits or you subscribe to my channel or you tip me. Any of those three things. Chances are I'm probably going to give you a live shout out as long as you abide by the rules of the stream. What that means is as long as you're not degrading, as long as you're not insulting or trying to get me to say something that'll get me in trouble on Twitch, as long as you're not putting up ginormous paragraphs that have nothing to do with the game, as long as you're not putting up song lyrics or just a general, as long as you're not being annoying, I'm probably going to give you a live shout out as a way of saying thank you for your contribution. All right. <clears throat> it's a great way to interact with me and uh, it's a major part of the stream. So Thanks to anyone who does contribute. I appreciate that. There's also a stream stats leaderboard at the top of the screen that I update periodically with top cheerer and top tipper of the stream. It's another great way to get recognized for your contributions. Okay. Now, in addition to that, there's two other leaderboards. There's one that tracks the top cheerers of the week and one that tracks the top sub gifters of the week. And we're going to give those people a shout out in a few minutes here because today's Sunday per Twitch's criteria. This is the last streaming day of the week. And that actually means that, uh, <clears throat> Those two particular leaderboards will reset overnight and go back to zero tomorrow. So your last opportunity, if you'd like to get up on the leaderboard for one of those things, okay? Hold on one second. I'm going to turn on the fan in the office because it's getting kind of stuffy in here. We have kind of a hazy sun today, and uh, it's not making the office, like, super-duper hot or anything. All right, but... uh. It's actually a little bit stuffy in here, and it's, it feels a little bit better with the fan on, so cool. Okay, guys, so out of all the things I just talked about, uh, you know, I mentioned a, a lot of ways you could contribute. What's the best way? Tipping me for two big reasons. First of all, when you tip me, those are funds that I get immediately to put towards things such as the cost of games, the cost of daily stuff, bills, taxes, um, you know, groceries, etc., Tips help me with all that stuff. It's immediate stuff I can use for important things. All right? Now, in addition to that, with this ongoing streak that we've got of hitting the tips goal, if we hit the tips goal today, I'm going to put on the vest. You guys really seem to like the, the vest meme. I still don't understand it. It's 14 streams in. I still don't understand it. But, hey, if you guys like it, I'm all for it. So that's the other reason why it's important to tip over other methods of contribution because we get a cool celebration when I put on the vest. All right? <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> that being said, I'm not looking to give horse in the mouth. You guys want to sub, you guys want to cheer, maybe buy something from my Teespring, etc. That's all great. And those things do help me. But those things have a long-term impact, while if you tip me, that's short-term. See what I mean? So I'm not looking to give horse in the mouth. I am grateful for any contribution. Thank you to anyone who considers contributing at all. But if you are choosing, gee, I, have, I would choose which way to contribute. What's the best way? Tipping is definitely the best way. All right. Now, if you look below the stream, there's a tips chart button you can click on, or you can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That's how you tip me. Both methods bring you to my PayPal tips page. You can either tip with a registered PayPal account, or you could tip me with a registered, or not registered, excuse me. You could tip me with any debit or credit card, much like buying anything over the internet. All right. If you don't see the option to do that, if you load the fully loaded desktop version of that PayPal site, you should have the option to actually, uh, you know, tip me with a debit or credit card. Also, I have recently updated that PayPal tips page. It now reflects <clears throat> all the different tip levels where you're going to get different on-screen notifications. So you got the $4.20 level, the $5 level, the $10 and $20 levels. Each one gives you a different on-screen pop-up thank you notification. Pretty cool. So 
thank you to the person, they're going to remain nameless until they tell me they want thanks, who helped me tweak all that stuff. Someone actually wrote me like a mini guide and said, here's some things you can improve that make the streams cooler. And that was one of the big things. I said, wow, this makes tipping way more easy and way more transparent, all right? Also, you may notice when you tip me, it actually says tip on the screen. The reason it does that is because you are tipping me. It is not a donation. A donation is for a non-for-profit. It's an actual tip, meaning you like what I'm doing as a, a, a content creator, and you want to say, gee, thanks, here's a little something to help out. That's a tip. Just like if you would tip a waiter or a waitress, you would tip a bartender or someone who does a service for you. It's exactly the same premise here. Okay? There you go. So, thank you guys for even considering contributing in any way, shape, or form. I appreciate that very much. And hopefully we can keep that vest streak going today. Now, I want you guys to be safe. I want you to understand <clears throat> that, sadly... There are people out there on the internet that if they can get their hands on your personal information, they will screw with you just because they can because they get some kind of validation or feeling of positivity out of messing with others and getting away with it, all right? And so, the reason I bring this up is because you may not realize how much personal information you have on the internet just on your social media accounts. You know, things like uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram might have things like your family members, your friends, uh, all kinds of information um, listed there publicly that sadly could be used against you and especially if you're a stream viewer or a stream contributor there are people who will target you as stupid as that sounds it is true so the first thing i recommend strongly guys turn off your direct messages here on twitch.tv make it so that either only friends can send you direct messages or just turn them off completely they really don't serve a purpose most people who use them will spam you with all kinds of nasty stuff including scams including hacking attempts and including just nasty shit about streamers there's no reason to have your DMs open to this element. In addition, if you're going to contribute today, do your best to hide your identities, okay? <clears throat> Here's why I say that. Because if you tip or you cheer and you're using your real name or a name that's very similar to your social media account, people can then use that to come after you. Oh, I'm going to go find this guy and harass him online. As stupid as that sounds, yes, there are people who actually waste their real lifetime doing this because they have nothing better to do, apparently, or at least they think they don't, and they waste their time harassing people online. I don't want to see any of my viewers get harassed just because you tuned into a stream, all right? So please be diligent with your information, turn off those DMs, and make sure that you hide your identity. Today, if you tip me, you could tip anonymously, or you could just make up a name if you tip me, and that way no one can tie it to you. Okay, guys? All right. <laughs> Continuing on, let us now talk about the rules of the stream. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, I am streaming on Twitch.tv. This is a public business, and that means that I have to abide by all the rules and regulations of this business. I can't just say and do whatever I want. But in addition to that, I have my own set of rules that I feel maintain a chill vibe on my streams and allow me to explain what that means. I want you to feel that when you come by my streams, you can be relaxed. You can have fun. You can unwind a bit. You can enjoy my honest reactions to a video game. You can interact with me in the stream chat a little bit. And in general, the whole point that I'm streaming, the reason I stream, is to try to give you guys an entertaining distraction from real life. Right now, we have a lot of crazy, real-life, stressful stuff going on. We don't need to be thinking about it constantly. I hope that my stream serves as a way to distract you from many of those things so that you can more, be more focused on you know, not being stressed and just being entertained. All right, so I have a few rules in effect that I feel help maintain that kind of an atmosphere on my streams. Okay, guys? Sounds good? <laughs> All right. The first rule, we don't talk about politics and religion on my stream. I have found over the years, in the 11 plus years I've been a content creator, I have found that sadly... Uh, politics and religion are topics that cause a lot of arguments and a lot of bad feelings. People can't seem to just have intelligent discussions. Instead, they start getting mad at each other if people disagree with their viewpoints. And in general, in regards to a gameplay stream, I just really don't feel that politics or religion have a place at all in these discussions. I think that they're incredibly derailing and they just get people off topic in a game. I hate when I'm playing a game and I turn to the chat and now people are arguing about Democrats and Republicans and blah, blah, blah. What is this crap, right? So in that regard... Um, please understand, we don't talk about those topics unless I am playing a game where those topics are pertinent. So, for example, if I'm playing a game that has religious or political topics as part of the plot, 
that's very different. That's on topic. That's definitely going to be allowed. But in general, we don't derail the chat with politics and religion. Now, recently, I have expanded this rule. Because right now in the world, we are in the midst of a crisis, a pandemic. And everyone is nervous. And everyone has been very, very negatively affected by all of this stuff. Okay? <clears throat> Alright? Um, the truth of the matter here is that we're all nervous, right? We're all not feeling good. I'm nervous about the situation. You guys are too. We're all lives are all been changed. And we know that. It's the biggest thing going on in the world. But please understand that people are coming by this stream to escape that. We're bombarded with all of this all day long. And my streams can serve to be an escape from all of that for a lot of people. So even though I'm not going to outright ban talking about what's going on in the real world right now, that'd be preposterous, I don't want my stream to just be constantly talking about it. All right. So please understand, please understand that I, you know, I'll allow it as long as it's limited and as long as it doesn't overcome my stream. If my stream becomes completely derailed, then we're going to have to put our foot down and take control of the situation in the stream chat. Fair enough. <clears throat> good. All right. Good. I hope so. <laughs> All right, guys. Also, um, the other thing is I am well aware there are tons of people who don't like me. They basically take the opportunity on a daily basis to make fun of me, to insult me, to bully me, to, de to defame and slander myself and also my family members and other people who have any kind of association with me because they've found out that, number one, this gets them some kind of popularity on the internet, right? Whether it's views, whether it's actual profit that they get on illegal restreams or videos on YouTube that are slanderous, or... <clears throat> They just get, you know, they, they get some kind of sick pleasure out of trying to bring down others. You know, people like you and me are probably people who enjoy doing positive things in our lives, right? Building up positivity and creativity and doing fun stuff. We don't revel in hurting others, but these people do. They actually revel in hurting other people. It's toxic. It's disgusting behavior. It's immoral behavior. I would never do it, but that's what these people do. All right. So that being said. I'm well aware, well aware of all that stuff, okay? And sadly, um, on a daily basis, I'm subject to it. But we keep it out of the streams. What that means is we don't bring it up. We're not going to bring up specific things going on. Oh, this person said this about you. There's a new conspiracy theory about you, Phil. Who gives a shit? I am here to put out a daily and entertaining gameplay stream for you every day. That is my purpose, six days a week, full time. I'm not here to discuss my personal life. I'm not here to discuss drama at all. That's not the purpose of my streaming and never has been. That's what they want to do because that's all they can get popularity for. Toxic drama. I enjoy playing games and that's what we're going to do on my stream. So please understand bringing up this kind of stuff on the stream, sadly, is very derailing in two different ways. First of all, you're taking away the positivity of my stream. We're all here trying to avoid drama, avoid conflict, and just have fun, right? Why would we then bring up drama shit? That has nothing to do with the stream. All it's going to do is derail the stream, right? But in addition to that, on top of that, you're giving undue attention to these toxic people, people who are only here to hurt people, and you're giving them undue attention. People might then go check out their crap out and fall down the fucking rabbit hole of that toxicity. And trust me, with all the stuff going on in the world, that's the last thing we want to happen to people, right? We're trying to pump people full of positivity, not full of shit. So please understand it is strictly against the rules to bring up any of that crap. I only bring it up on this pre-stream so you guys know what's going on. All right? <laughs> All right. So that's that. We've covered all the bases. So let's now go ahead and let's go and uh, and start with shout outs, shall we? Sure. Snow Carl did a 50 bit cheer. He said, I was wondering, due to your financial situation, why don't you sell your house and move to a cheaper state? You'd be rid of all the liberals and homeless people in Seattle. First of all, that's ridiculous. I don't want to be free of liberals and homeless people. There's nothing wrong with liberals or homeless people. Obviously, we want homeless people to have homes, and there's nothing wrong with liberals. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. That was a very biased statement, what you just said right there, Snow Carl. Okay? But I've only explained this situation about 40 zillion times. I'll say it one more time in a nutshell. Number one, I work from home. If I were to sell my home and have to move, that means I can't work. 
Because that means not only do I have to somehow prepare my home for sale, which I can't do because I have no money, but then I also have to stop working in order to seek out another place. I probably wouldn't qualify for another place because my credit is in the toilet because I have filed for bankruptcy and haven't, you know, you know what I mean? Like my credit is ruined anyway. Everyone does a credit check. No one's going to take in a new tenant or whatever for someone who doesn't have credit and I can't buy a house because I don't have credit. So number one, just finding a place to move would be nearly impossible. That's number one. Number two, having to move would disrupt my business. Now, how am I supposed to pay for things when I can't work? It would be different if I had an office job <clears throat> and I could still work nine to five in my office every day and then I could come home and work on moving or moving would be outside the range of my work. Sadly, that's not the case. I have a home-based business and moving would basically not allow me to work anymore and it's not possible, all right? I've explained this about 40 billion times. Oh, by the way, one other thing. Even if I sold my ho house, it's not enough to pay off the debt that I owe. There's not enough equity in this home to pay off all the debt that I owe. So even if I sold the house, I'd still be in debt and it wouldn't help anything. <laughs> so there's your answer, Snow Carl. I don't know why people keep asking the same questions over and over. Snow Carl chewed again. He said, it's fine to end the stream early, but can you shorten your break? Um, I'll see what I can do. My break is typically about 30 minutes on average long. Sometimes a little longer. Sometimes it's slightly shorter. Um, you know, I'll see what I can do about that. In reality, it's really not the length of the break, but the length of the pre-stream, right? So depending on how long the pre-stream goes, limits how much gameplay we have. In general, at a minimum, I try to have three hours of gameplay on every stream. Some streams I go longer. You know, it depends on what's going on. So let's see what happens today, all right? <clears throat> okay, Deathproof42... Did a 300-bit cheer. He said, what did you think of the first half of WrestleMania 36? I enjoyed the match with Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. So far, that's uh, the only thing I've liked. Well, I didn't see so much. I, I basically watched about an hour of it, and I fast-forwarded through a lot of it. It was during my break yesterday that I had a chance to watch. So I didn't see that match. I also didn't see... Uh, apparently, the big match that everyone was talking about is this Boneyard match. That apparently happened between AJ Styles and The Undertaker. That really wasn't a match. It was more like a scripted uh, fight, I guess. With all kinds of cinematics and stuff in it. Um, Death Proof, your name is very hard to spell. Because you have a bunch of numbers in there. So, I didn't see the whole thing. From what I saw, it's definitely a mixed bag. Some of the matches, the wrestling was top-notch and entertaining. Other matches were complete and utter jokes where the endings either made no sense or just terrible endings, or the matches weren't even real matches. They were just complete horseshit and a waste of everybody's time. But that kind of goes... The, that's the par for the course for WrestleMania. You always get a lot of mixed bags at WrestleMania, where you might have, like, two matches that stand out, and the rest is shit. <clears throat> Which is why I think so many people complain, why is WrestleMania, like, seven fucking hours long? It doesn't need to be. And, you know, this year, they split it into two. Right? They split it into two. Um, and I'm, I'm curious to see what, what's left for tonight, because I don't know. But, uh, you know, in general, I'm not invested in any more Death Proof. Like, I, I'll just watch it casually and say, okay, that's what it is. I don't really care about the outcomes or anything. So, for me, I don't get upset about it anymore. Plus, let's face it, an empty arena WrestleMania is pretty insane and just unheard of. Um, to the point where it's kind of like... It doesn't feel like WrestleMania at all to me. You know what I mean? At all. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue on. Deathproof42, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you, Deathproof. Um, Ireland took me $5. And now he's angry. Because I'll, I'll read I'll read word for word what he says. First of all, he's the first tipper of the day. So let me get him up on the leaderboard. I will read word for word what he says. And I will, I will try to... Uh, oh, wait. It's a capital I. I'll try to respond logically and rationally, all right, and not get upset. I think what he's trying to do, he's trying to bait me into getting upset, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> I'm not going to get upset. Let's see what he says. All right, you ready? <clears throat> okay, Ireland. Tip me $5. I'm a, I'm a fan. This is your birthday week. It's meant to be positive, but yesterday's incident, when you stomped your feet and acted like a whiny baby, when you got stuck on a boss and refused to play, was very immature. Your fans expect better, man. Just advice. All right, so let's talk about what happened. At the tail end of my stream yesterday, we're talking the last uh, half an hour of the stream, I fought a boss in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Now keep in mind, I'm playing on hardcore difficulty. What I'm to understand 
is that if you play on the easier difficulties, which at first I wanted to do, but people insisted I play on a harder difficulty, so I did, as a way of saying thanks for all the support lately. So my understanding is, on easier difficulties, this is a normal boss, where all you gotta do is deal enough damage to the boss, you win, okay? On hardcore, not so much. <clears throat> on hardcore, apparently, it's a puzzle boss. Now, what does that mean? It means that, sadly, if you try to use all the game mechanics taught to you up to that point in the game, you cannot beat it. What it means is, much like Bed of Chaos in Dark Souls 1 or other similar bosses, you need to specifically know exactly what to do in order to beat the boss, and if you don't, you can't win. You're essentially wasting your time, okay? <clears throat> so, here I am, playing the game, and, you know, 30 minutes left on the stream, plenty of time to beat a boss, right? I go in, fully loaded, I'm unloading grenades on the boss, I'm shooting it in its face. All of a sudden, the boss starts doing this weird thing where it's running around the edges of the stage. Sadly, I don't have grenades left. I've used them all on the boss already. You know, fully thinking this was a normal boss that you just unload and you beat it. Well... He keeps running in circles, running in circles, running in circles. Can't figure out a way to knock him down. He keeps climbing the top clock tower, jumping down. him. Can't knock him down. Even though Jill is saying things like, oh, you're going to have a long fall, buddy. There's no way to knock him off this thing. Okay? So I say, okay. So I reset. Let me try again. All right, here we go again. So I'll, do, I'll deal with some damage. Maybe I'll save up the flame grenades or whatever. Still trying to figure this out. And finally around, I'd say, probably the third attempt at fighting this guy, I realized, I said, you know, they had just introduced mines. The new kind of grenade had not been in the game until, like, five minutes before this boss. All right? <clears throat> People in the stream chat weren't outright telling me, but were alluding to it. They were like, use the mines, use the mines. Like, okay. So, I start to use these mines, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And so I'm using the mines on the boss when he starts to run around the edges of the, the screen. And what happens is the mines blow him off the walls and he lands. And when he lands on the ground, his heart pops out of his chest. So I'm like, oh, this is typical Resident Evil. So it's going to expose his weak point, unload everything you have into the heart, and then you should be able to beat him, right? Fair enough. So I do this once, but I run out of ammo. But then I realize, oh, there's actually ammo that kind of... It doesn't really spawn, but it's on the outskirts of the arena where you're fighting this boss. There's some ammo inside of car doors where the boss hits the cars. The doors will open. You can grab the ammo. And there's also ammo just kind of sitting around. All right? <clears throat> so I maybe attempt to try to do this two or three times. And I am grabbing more ammo and using everything. I'm unloading everything I have into this boss's heart. The boss will not fucking die. Now I'm looking at the clock, all right? I've got, like, seven minutes left on my stream. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is insane. I need to beat this fucking boss before I turn the stream off. I can't not leave this as a cliffhanger ending. Now, I'm frustrated. Dinner's ready. My wife is waiting to eat dinner with me before she has to go to work. And I'm like, this stupid fucking boss, they made it so difficult on hardcore mode. Again, not a real boss. If it were a real boss, you could just sit there and be, be careful and dodge. By the way, I'm dodging it perfectly now. At this point, I'm a fighting a boss for 25 minutes. I know how to dodge all its attacks. So it's not that I, I'm not playing well. It's that it's a puzzle boss. There's something missing. I'm missing something that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? So finally, I get so fucking frustrated. All right? I basically sit back and I, I pause the game and I'm like, guys, I need to beat this boss before the stream goes off. So it's this simple. It's an annoying fucking puzzle boss. I'm pissed off. Someone has to tell me what to do to beat it. Or else I'm not going to continue to play. There's no point. I don't have time to waste. I need to know what to do to beat it. So I paused the game and I sat back and I got two different tips. Some people said, yeah, this is probably one of the most annoying bosses in the game, if not the most. What you need to either do is unload all of your ammo into it and hope it dies or... There's a way to deal extra damage, which again, you wouldn't know because the game doesn't fucking explain shit and this is completely different from the rest of the game. Apparently when the enemy or when this boss go goes on top of the clock tower, you can shoot a grenade up there. And if you hit it with a grenade when it's up there, it staggers and falls off the clock tower for a double bounce bonus damage. And then you can shoot the heart and, and kill it. Oh, great. 
Okay, so finally after almost a full half hour, all right, I unpause the game, I try it, it bounces, it falls, I shoot it in the heart, it dies. And I'm like, this was seriously the most annoying fucking boss I've ever seen in my life. Like, of course it's not. There's been way more annoying bosses. I would say probably the most annoying boss <clears throat> would be those endgame RPG bosses like like uh, Persona 3 or Final Fantasy uh, 13 2 or was it 3? No, 13 3, right? Those were insane. This is a just, it's annoying to me because I have a time frame to beat it and you would think 30 minutes to beat a boss is pretty much, you know, a fair amount of time to set aside. But not for these guys. These game developers decided... We're not going to make a normal boss fight. We're going to make it you specifically need to know not only to save your grenades, but to use your grenades to stun the boss to shoot it in the heart. Oh, by the way, also, wait until the thing's on top of the clock tower to get a double bounce bonus damage so you can kill it. It's ludicrous, okay? <clears throat> it is. It's ludicrous. It's incredibly frustrating, all right? Now, Ireland is basically saying... Your fans deserve better than that. So what would you like me to do? Not be honest with you? Should I not be honest when I'm incredibly frustrated at something in a game and lie to you and say the game's great and kiss the game's butt and, you know, say, oh, well, guys, sorry, I couldn't beat it on this stream because I had no idea how to beat the boss. Now you just have a giant cliffhanger for next time. Uh, sorry that, you know, you're all insanely disappointed. No, the truth of the matter is this. If I didn't beat that boss on that stream, everyone would have complained. It would have been, oh, man, you didn't beat it. You suck. You're a bad streamer because you didn't beat the boss and we didn't get resolution. And now we have to wait till Monday to see the end of the boss. So this is a situation where it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If I didn't pause the game and demand help, I wouldn't have beaten that boss and everyone would have been pissed at me. So here's what we can do. We can do one of two things. All right. We can either say, all right, yeah, we're not happy that Phil got upset, but at the same time, thank God he beat the boss, and now when we play again on Monday, we can continue on and have fun with the rest of the playthrough. Or you can pretend to be upset, which is exactly what you're doing, pretend to be upset to try to cause up fake controversy, fake bullshit to cause drama. All right? I don't play that game. I don't give two fucks about you trying to cause drama. Nobody gives a shit, especially me. And if you have an issue with this, you can go fuck yourself. Don't come to my streams. You don't want honesty? Why are you here? Right? I could have been fake and kissed the game's butt and said, all right, we'll do it next time, and everyone would have been disappointed. Instead, I vented my rage, and then I asked for help. I got the help. We beat it. We moved on. There's no controversy here, and if you got a problem with that, fuck you. It's that simple. There's no other thing to talk about. <clears throat> we could have had a rage quit. It could have been, fuck this, turn the game off. And people would have been way more upset. Instead, I actually did what was the best course of action here. All right? So there you go. I don't have any issue with what I did. You shouldn't either. If you're trying to bait this into some kind of a silly controversial situation, you failed. Um, You know, there's no controversy going on. Everyone's happy that the game will continue on Monday. So, nice try. Fuck off. All right, Snow Carl cheered. He says, hey, Phil, I wasn't here yesterday. The stream test was upset with what happened with PW Dubs last night. Have you addressed the situation? Sure, I'll address it. Last night, I was streaming Morrowind, and PW Dubs decided to give WrestleMania spoilers. Now, it doesn't really matter if he intentionally or unintentionally did it. I don't think he intentionally did it at all. I don't. I think it was an innocent thing that he did. But at the very beginning of the stream, People were starting to talk about WrestleMania, and I said right then, I said, guys, up front, listen, no spoilers are allowed on my stream. This has always been a rule, and especially with WrestleMania going on today and tomorrow, no spoilers in the stream. It's not allowed, all right? He came in here, and he gave one of the biggest spoilers of the night. He told about a title change. I was like, you can't do that, man. You just can't. I feel bad, because PW Doves is a positive stream chatter. He's a supporter. But I can't make exceptions to the rule for him. He spoiled a fucking major thing in the stream. He should have known better. He should have had common sense. <clears throat> okay? So, what did I do? I banned him temporarily. All right? I said, listen, this is why this is happening. And basically, uh, not only him, but other people appealed and were like, oh, we really feel that this was, you know, it, it was you know, an innocent mistake. He didn't mean to do it. Maybe he had thought that already you were talking about WrestleMania spoilers or something. Who knows? 
And I said, all right, after this happened, I'll unban him. And that's where I left it. And that's where it is right now. I don't know. I'm not aware of anything else going on. Um, you know, that's this typical reaction, level-headed reaction that I would have had to anyone who broke the rules and created spoilers. You can't have that in my stream chat. You can't have a new movie and people come in and spoil the whole movie. You can't have a new TV show. People come in and spoil the episode. You can't have a wrestling event or a fighting event of any time, <clears throat> any kind, and people come in and spoil it. You just can't have it. It's against the rules and always have been. All right? So please understand that. And it's nothing personal against PW Dubs at all. It wasn't. In fact, I told you I felt bad doing it because I know the guy is great. He's a positive guy. He's a fun influence on the stream. He tips a lot. You know, all these good supportive things. And I'm like, I got to do it. I can't just ignore the rules for this guy. You know, but I, like I said, he was banned for a, a grand total, like 10 minutes or something. And then we unbanned him and that was the end of it. And that's where it ends. No controversy, no problems. It's that simple. Here's what happens. You notice that none of this stuff was controversial yesterday. No one had any issue with it. But overnight, the shithead detractors try to find things to latch onto and cause issues. So what did they do? They talked about how Phil got so angry during Resident Evil 3 last night. They talk about how Phil banned a longtime supporter on a stream last night. Of course, there's no context to it. There's no actual explanation of what really happened. Um, instead, it's just controversy, drama, controversy, drama to try to get clickbait views on their garbage. So now I come back today. Oh, look at all these problems. These aren't problems. These aren't problems at all. They're not. <laughs> these are basic things that happen on streams where I made decisions based on what I knew needed to happen. I knew I needed to beat that boss on that Resident Evil 3 stream or people were going to be insanely upset. Say that I rage quit. Say that my stream sucks because they waited 30 minutes and I didn't beat them. I knew I couldn't stay late, so I did what I had to do to beat them. I knew I couldn't let something slide on my stream and say that stream uh, spoilers were okay. They're not. Everyone has to re reply by the same rules. It wasn't anything personal. And immediately I said, okay, I think you learned his lesson and I unbanned P uh, PW Dubs, right? <clears throat> so I don't see the issue here because there is none. There's no issue at all here. This is shithead detractors and people getting sucked into their black hole of stupidity and I don't play that game. So fuck off if you're trying to cause controversy. No one gives two shits about you. Let's continue on, <clears throat> okay? All right, let's continue. My Asian son... Tip me $7. I don't have an Asian son. But okay, he says, Looking to get into the Final Fantasy games, I have no idea where to start. There's so many. Which game would be a good introduction to get into the series? <clears throat> See, here's the hard... Here's, this is a very tough question to answer. This is a very tough question to answer, my Asian son. And here's why I say this. Um, Final Fantasy has changed and evolved so many times over the years. I would say the games of Final Fantasy 1 through maybe 9 okay, are a natural evolution, then they kind of changed a bit with 10. And then again, I would say um, Final Fantasy uh, th 12 is an MMO, so that doesn't really... Excuse me, not 12. 11 is an MMO, so that doesn't really factor in here. But uh, 12 is different from 10. 13 is very different from 12. 15 is very different from 13. So it's like... It's hard. It's almost like any game 10 or on. So that would be 10, 12, 13, or 15, because 11 and 14 were MMOs. Any of those games you could just play, cold turkey, never playing a Final Fantasy game before, and I don't think any prerequisite knowledge is needed. You could just play them and succeed and enjoy them. All right? If you're playing the classic Final Fantasies, they're, you know, they all kind of build off of each other and add different systems and the like. <clears throat> So, I would say, <clears throat> you know, thinking about this, um, <clears throat> hold on a second. Just got to get someone who's trying to cause controversy, who I've banned a million times before. They think they could do it, and now they're out of here. Okay. All right. Um, so, the truth of the matter here is I can't answer the question. I can't. Um, if you're asking me in my personal experience... My favorite Final Fantasies are 4 and 6. I feel that they're great games, but those are very outdated games. <clears throat> if you play those, they're not going to prepare you for like more modern Final Fantasies, you see? I don't know. I guess, I guess maybe 10 is a good jumping in point. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I'll, I'm going to say 10. There you go. And I'm sticking to it. Alice Telemont here. He said, I hope next Friday works out better with Street Fighter. 
If it stays bugged, would you consider Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Switch for one Friday only? No. Because that's a complete and utter mess. That game is broken to shit with Violent Ken and Akuma. There's no point in ever playing it again. Seriously. Like, that's a complete waste of everybody's time. I'll, all I will do is fight Violent Kens and Akumas who are overpowered. It's, it's just not fun or fair. So, let's hope that this issue that happened, um, you know, uh, this, this last Friday is not an ongoing issue. It was bad. Why can't I play a match? It's crashing, glitching constantly. That was terrible. And we never had it that bad before. I have to think something went wrong with the servers or something. But hopefully that doesn't happen again. I hope not. <clears throat> okay. Um, Snow Carl Charity says, Ignore the trolls. If you rage, they complain. If you don't and you do well, they complain. It's like if you're honest and you don't mince words, many are afraid to trash games because of fanboys and it's lame. Yeah. When I was playing Doom Eternal, I did not kiss the game's ass constantly because everyone else was. I criticized it fairly and said I felt that some of the ch changes that they made from Doom 2016 were not to my liking. I never said, never said the game was bad. I said the game was very frustrating in parts for me and wasn't to my liking. Okay? That's very different. <laughs> very different. Um, so I hope you understand that, guys. You know, when I was playing Resident Evil 3 Remake last night and the rage happened, did I say this game is a piece of shit and it sucks and no one should play it? No. I said, man, this puzzle boss is fucking annoying as shit. And it shouldn't have been made like this. And the game devs should have done better. That's what I say. I try to be fair in my criticisms. But you're right, Snow Carl. It doesn't matter what I do. Shitheads will always spin it. <clears throat> okay. Shitheads will always spin it into something completely controversial, negative, and drama. Because this is what they do. This is how they get their clickbait garbage drama views on YouTube. And I don't give a fuck about them. Well, Raptor Balls to the dollar thirty, basically insulting PW Dubs said he did it on purpose. I don't think that PW Dubs did it on purpose. I really don't. I don't think he meant. To, I don't think he realized that saying what he said was going to upset anyone and was against the stream rules at all. I don't feel that. I felt that he was giving a very because what he said was a natural reaction to a match that was very frustrating for many, many, many people. Okay, so I think it was his natural reaction. He just didn't realize that giving that reaction was a spoiler. All right. <clears throat> and I never said that, by the way. I never said that I felt that he was someone who, who was doing this on purpose. But I couldn't just let it slide, man. It's a it's a long-standing stream rule. Have to do something about it. Dark Souls tip me a dollar thirty. Thank you, Dark Souls, for a dollar tip. Okay. Alice Telemon did a hundred bit cheer and says. 90% of your viewers are a silent majority. Don't worry about your decisions concerning bans, changes, or length of pre-streams. It's all good. I know. Alice Tullamon, the truth of the matter is that if, if the things that I did were so grievous, such a grievous, horrible actions, number one, I wouldn't have anyone tune into my streams. Everyone would, would hate me. No one would be here to be supportive to hang out with me. Number two, I'd be banned from Twitch. I'd be banned from YouTube. I'd be banned from the planet. <laughs> For my grievous actions. There's no grievous actions here. At all. The streams are fun. Everyone, when, when the Resident Evil 3 stream ended, everyone was like, ah, oh, it was a really good stream. We got a good mix of, you know, new enemies, you know, new weapons, plot development, Phil Rage, which was fun. It was a good stream. Everyone ends the stream like, wow, that was a good one. Not, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe what happened. Oh, I can't go to that stream again. Uh, no, it didn't happen. People are just stupid. The people that try to spin this are just fucking assholes. Argonok89. Subscribe to the channel for four months. Thank you for the four months of support, Argonok. He says, I hope the Vestry continues today. You know me too. 14 straight streams of Vestige. Vestitude. The Vestival. <laughs> so many puns. Um, It's been crazy. <clears throat> All right. I certainly never, never, um, I certainly never expected that I would, it would, this would happen for this long. And, you know, it's got to end at some point. And I just want to say, guys, you know, if it does end today, thank you for the support this long. Uh, as much as I would like to see it continue, I know at some point the vest streak is going to end. All right. So thank you to those who have made it happen for this far. Pretty awesome. Again, I got to remind everyone today's stream will end early. I have to end at 3.30 today, not 4 p.m. 
just for those who may be like, okay, I want to I want to have the vest streak continue. Well, last time I played Neo Two, you know, we only hit the goal at the very last minute, but I have to end early today to make dinner. Okay, so just throwing that out there. I don't want any hard feelings where people are like, oh my god, the vest streak ended because Phil didn't tell us or anything like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, this is hilarious. Listen to this. Kratos tipped a dollar thirty and says, You banned PWWs yesterday for spoilers, but you just spoiled five minutes ago. No, I didn't. Did I, did I tell the results of one single match? No. That's a spoiler. Just telling you a match exists is not a fucking spoiler, stupid. Actually telling the results of a match is a spoiler. I didn't give any results of any matches. So you're stupid. Thanks for the dollar tip, stupid. Okay. Let's go ahead and give shout-outs to the top cheerers of the week. And by the way, this will be the last time that we do this for the week because, like I said, this leaderboard will reset overnight. So thank you to the top cheerers. Um, oh, shit, it scrolled off the screen. <laughs> All right, in 10th place, we've got Ryan. 9th place, German Handicap. We have a triple tie for 6th place between Mr. Papavera, Sazzy Paz, and Delancius. Fifth place is Savage Beast 7097. F uh, that was fifth place. Did I say seventh place? That's fifth place. Uh, fourth place, Snow Carl. Third place, Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog. Second place, Magnus Flamebeard. And first place, Ripley Atomic. Okay. Time to get rid of some shitheads in the stream chat. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Hold on. <clears throat> Just keep going. Anyone who, I'm serious. Anyone who just wants to, to fucking slander is done now. I'm not putting in with this nonsense. What this is doing is it's exposing people who are just here to be shitheads. So go right ahead. Go right the fuck ahead. I'm going to have a nice, fun, productive stream here today. We are not going to have stupid shit going on. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> um. All right, top sub gifters of the week, everybody. Top sub gifters of the week. Thank you to the following people: the OG Rascal, Jokes, etc., and Bad Guy each gifted a sub. PW Dubs, Mike Three EFC, Big Papa Phil, and X Danish each gifted two subs. Star Saint Mark and Snoutfoot each gifted five subs, and Bishop of Mercy. Gifted 10 subscriptions this week. Thank you all for the support. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, Continuing on here. WWE, this is hilarious. Someone named WWE fan tipped me $5 and says, I hope your vest streak ends today. Justice for P-dubs. But you tip me $5, which helps me to continue the vest streak. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what to say to that one. I mean, I guess it could be a joke. I... Anyway, let's continue. Uh, uh, Ripley Atomic did a 50-bit cheer. He says, do you think Resident Evil 3 is like a Metroid, a Metroidvania? What? No. <laughs> In fact, I even said this. Uh, Resident Evil 3 is more straightforward than, say, Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 Remake had a lot of backtracking because <clears throat> in particular when you're in the raccoon police department there's many times where you have to get a different key and now you have to backtrack to a different door and open those oh the spade doors the heart doors right and you can only go into those certain rooms later on in the game and so that's way more like a metroidvania um way more like a metroidvania than i would say uh, Resident Evil 3. Is there backtracking in Resident Evil 3? Yes. For example, early on in the game, once I got the bolt cutters, I backtracked a little bit. Once I got the lockpick, I backtracked a little bit and opened those optional doors and lockers. <clears throat> but I would say, in general, it's fairly straightforward, and there's not nearly as much backtracking to open up secrets and stuff like there was in 2. So I would say Resident Evil 3 is nowhere near as much of a Metroidvania as 2. Okay? Um... Shook ones 
took me three dollars says i played the final fantasy remake demo i loved it i never played final fantasy ever can i jump into this game with no knowledge of the lore i would say yeah final fantasy 7 is a, is a standalone all the lore is always standalone by the way are there things that carry over from one final fantasy game to the other like the moogles and stuff chocobos yes but are they critical to the plot? No, not really. Like, you don't need to have prerequisite knowledge of those things to understand it at all. <clears throat> and you absolutely can play Final Fantasy VII never having played a Final Fantasy game before, and you should be able to enjoy it. Okay? Uh, now, Ryan tipped me a dollar and is yelling at me for begging for money and the vest. I wasn't aware that I'm begging for anything. That didn't even happen. Like, am I happy that people support the stream? Yes. Am I sitting here constantly begging? No. So, you're an idiot. Chunky Jackass 302 tip me a dollar thirty. Thank you very much to Chunky Jackass. Obviously, someone trying to make fun of Chunky Jack, which is not fair. And I don't support that at all. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, DSP Rocks tipped a dollar thirty. says, can we have a moment of silence for the people banned today? Well, here's the thing. The people banned today were being assholes. Oh, Phil, you spoiled. No, I didn't. Okay, what match did I spoil? Name one match that I told you the result. Oh, oh, that's right, because it didn't happen, because I didn't. He said, oh, those people are gone. That's slander. Oh, Phil spoiled WWE. No, I didn't. Literally didn't happen. Factually incorrect. You're going to sit here in the stream chat repeating it. You're going to get banned. What do you think would happen? You're a man, You're a fucking moron. <clears throat> and the truth of the matter is there's people who come by the streams just to have that kind of an element, right? They sit by, they'll talk with other chatters, and when they get a chance, ha-ha, it's time to strike and try to insult Phil. Like, I'm just going to sit here and fucking take the sneak disses behind my back when I'm playing a game. People think that I don't pay attention to it. And I'm very lenient to a lot of it. But there's a few people who just kind of sit around and do it. And I'm not going to put up with that shit. When you're going to outright <clears throat> say stuff like that. You're going to outright tell me I did something I didn't do in order to make me look bad. Well, you're not going to be in my streams anymore then. Okay? Okay. Alright, guys. Well... Thank you so much so far for the support. We've already hit a quarter of the tip skull. That's pretty damn good before even booting the game, right? Um, what we're going to do now is take a short break. I'm going to use the restroom. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to continue on with Neo 2. All right? We're gonna First thing i got to do is that Onio training mission. Um, on Mio training mission to unlock the, the highest level on Mio magic. Then we can go to side content because there's quite a bit of it that I believe is unlocked here. Um, and probably do some side missions, have some fun with that, and then, you know, move on to everything else. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are excited for some more salty Neo action. <laughs> okay? All right. I shall be back in just a moment. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you in a sec. 